Hello and welcome to Mojarto on Art. I'm Anusa Bramanyan. This week, we take you to an exhibition of contemporary art and then see some performances that really challenge the way we think of dance. After that, I sit down with a personal hero of mine who offers some sage advice about how to get things done. All this and more this week on Mojarto on Art. of the evening, let's get to know the graduating master's students of Shiv Nather University's Arts Department, who are really making work about the issues of our time. From surveillance to the alarming rate at which insects are dying, let's see what they're up to. Hi, my name is Sai Swaroop. Hi, I'm Raj Jariwala. Riyesh. Kushbu. Mohit. Tering Moto. Mugli. Priyank. Many artists dream of one day showing a work or two in an institution as widely known as the Kiran Nadar Museum of Art. But for these eight young artists, it was just another part of their education. Graduating master's students from the Shiv Nadar University's Department of Art Design and Performing Arts displayed their work at KNMA Noida, a large museum dedicated to contemporary and modern art. All their art uh, students visit the museum regularly and they have a graduating show which is sponsored by us. Uh, so we hold this graduating show for them. The work served as a litmus test for the concerns that are prevalent today. Raj Jarivala used mathematics and maps to create art that explores surveillance and global terror. Kushbu Patel's skilled miniature paintings aimed to beautify oft-reviled bodily functions and visible diseases. My work is about the uh, human reaction and that uh, holds a certain revulsion feelings towards the abject body, infection, skin diseases. So in my work, I was beautified those infection because so we are accepted the, those change, those inevitable things like growth, change, decay, death. Sering Motup's video art demonstrates an attempt to make his hooded eyes appear larger in the vein of YouTube beauty bloggers. When I have any issues regarding like materials and things, then if I wanted to solve it, I look into internet how to, wiki how to's. Um, and uh, yeah, through that I, I know how to fix things. And then that, that was an inspiration where uh, I thought to put it into my artwork. Like, and that's how I thought to make my eyes bigger. Contemporary art often takes strange shapes and can't be hung on a wall or displayed in a traditional white cube gallery. Artists like Mohit Shalare found a way around it. His private work of performance art was a violent series of games, from kicking a barbed wired ball back and forth to beating himself with bricks. Today, he has the broken finger to show for it. But the truth is, life after school for most artists is perilous. The soon-to-be graduates are hoping to take the struggles in stride. I hope you'll join me in wishing these graduates all the very best in their next chapter. Now, let's visit Inside Outside, a series of dance performances that really challenge and explore the ways that we can push the genre of dance, even classical dance. Let's see how they did it. Sometimes, it's hard to see how much a genre is changing and transforming. As it happens slowly, imperceptibly, across centuries. This is often true for dance, which is steeped in our culture and even religious traditions. But at Natya Ballet Center, innovation and tradition came together and created something markedly new at Inside Outside, 
their event in celebration of World Dance Day. We have to keep it relevant for the younger generation. Um, it's always nice to innovate. It's always nice to bring a breath of fresh air into something that's been you know, going on for um, maybe a hundred years or so. Sound, rhythm, is as essential to dance as the body, as movement, right? Say What, a performance by Avantika Behel and Vishal Saraya, turned the idea on its head. Choreographing an entirely silent work of contemporary dance. My name is Avantika and I am a contemporary dance choreographer and teacher. Yeah. And his name is Vishal. He is a dancer and he works for a firm called Deaf Entertainment where they make movies um, to increase awareness about sign language. The starting point and the point of entry of this work is gesture and sign language. But that's something that I've been preoccupied with for a while. Because of the fact that sign language is so embodied and there is something, um, it's very physical. So I, I, I thought that, that it would be very interesting to see how that can very fluidly work with movement and what that throws up. Upstairs, Eras and traditions were communing in a Bharatnatyam Katak Jugalbandi performance. The performance incorporated Sufi music, a rarity for traditional Indian dance. Sufi connects really good with Indian classical, I feel, the dance mainly. So I use many of uh, Kabir Bhajan and uh, Mirza Ghalib. So I use their poetry. Classical art form, uh, one side it's a very entertaining yeah. and uh, when you go on to the height, it is like this, Absolutely. like a piranha. Yeah. So we, we, uh, we keep feel the creating, energy of yeah. spirituality also. Natya Ballet since 1960s has always been promoting emerging choreographers of that time. For dance to kind of break from the shackles of the history of the 3000 years and kind of moving ahead from there and making it more, more something more to do with today's time, making it more socio-politically relevant. For that perspective, it is equally important to kind of hold on to the traditions, but at the same point of time, make dance a voice as a, in, in terms of a medium to kind of move ahead. Inside Outside was one of those wonderful genre-bending events that I feel so lucky to have witnessed. Next, we have a few more art events that are coming up in the next few weeks. Let's check them out. Delhi, head to Beacon Air House to see Serena Chopra Bhutan Echoes photo exhibition. The show is part of Tasveer Gallery's 11th season of traveling exhibitions. It's on view in Delhi from May 6th to the 14th. Delhi, you can also head to Antisocial in Hoskos Village to see Slam Number no. 2. Antisocial is curating an art gallery, a makeshift museum for all art lovers and enthusiasts in Delhi to get to know contemporary, underground, and upcoming artists, designers, photographers, illustrators, and sculptors. Calcutta, on May 13th is Nothing to Say, a non-verbal story of relation, friendship, love, and even division. Instead of words, the performance uses physical objects, mime movements, and visual dialogue. Mumbai, the new exhibition that is not to be missed is Sumakshi Singh, Leaving the Terrestrial. It's on view at Dr. Bhaudajilad Museum from May 7th to June 6th. The artist uses delicate thread and wire to create marine and botanical forms referencing nature, science, art, craft, and fantasy. Share your upcoming events with us at onart at ndtv.com. After the break, author Mala Singh teaches us how to honor the legacies of our cities through inclusiveness and empowerment. 
Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.